Hey everybody, we're back. Can you believe it? I say that every single time, no matter like Can what I'm doing. Can you believe we haven't given up yet? <laughs> we haven't given up yet. Wow, crazy. It's crazy. I vow to at least kill the wither on this server and the ender dragon. Those must be done. I love how your brain went wither first, not ender dragon. Well, I was looking at the two wither skulls I already had. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. No one let him get another. So, uh. Normally that's supposed to be done after the Ender Dragon, but. There hasn't been a big push to do the Ender Dragon, so. We probably should make a push to do the Ender Dragon eventually. Yeah. <laughs> if it was like a solo server, I would have done it by now, absolutely. Today, I don't you know how long we're going to do We also have a today. speed running tendency. Sha, hush you. Hush you and your truth. Never! <laughs> but, uh, I only have one goal in mind, and it's trying to finish this arena. I don't know how long we're going to go for today. It's kind of a play by ear, see how we feel kind of day. But, yeah. Because yeah. oh, oh, I'm a bit eepy. A little bit eepy. A little bit eepy. I'm still so right now, I'm just searching for quartz. Some chairs in this one pack you can sit in, but and others you can't. But not the big, comfy ones. I know! The ones that you would want to sit in the most. I'm so upset. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard either. You just kind of put the minecart kind of effects onto it. Where you uh -huh. just right click and get in. But I don't know. I don't make mods or code anything for that matter. So <laughs> who am I to say anything? Willowwood. <laughs> Huh. I think I have Willowwood somewhere. Ooh, it makes like red planks. Yeah. That's why I think I used it somewhere. <laughs> Can't remember where. Either that or I looked into it. I'm pretty sure I used it somewhere though. But then I instead got Dragon's Blood. And I used that for everything in this arena, it looks like. <laughs> I could have sworn I used Willow in this somewhere. Oh well. He's an expensive boy chat. Holy shit, this tree. What tree? This willow tree in the nether. It's massive. Oh, those, oh, that's right. They're the nether ones. Yeah, they're huge. They don't, they break funny too. So. They do? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't currently have an ax. How dare you fail. I need a better shovel. Sobbing. Hmm. Okay, well. Shit, though. Invest in bigger shovel. I have 15 golden apples in my inventory. That's so funny. How many? 15. God damn. I think that's from, it's definitely from my nether adventure, which happened last stream. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It was crazy. I got a lot of fancy things, like this trident. And this crossbow. <laughs> I love this better That's nether true. mod, but goddamn, I cannot find a quartz. Oh, I was going to give you this table of elevation. Uh, let me know when you're around so I can give it to you. Mwah. Nice. I bet you'll never guess what it does. It makes me go up. Yeah, it, it elevates you. How'd you know? Wow. <laughs> I thought it was, it was an incredibly good secret. Such a good secret. Um, you know what's the biggest shock to me? None of the what? mods we have installed include emerald weapons. Huh? Yeah, I didn't I want really to make think a about that. Shovel, just because I have a lot of mithril. Mithril. Can't find quartz for shit. Could I use a different white block? Yes. Do I want to use quartz to be fancy? Yes. There's snow, which actually I'm going to need to start collecting all of the snow for my own reasons. Your own machinations? My own evil machinations that involve snow, yes. Because uh, I've decided officially I'm just going to make it into a spleef arena. In which case, like, there's two mm -hmm. ways you could do spleef belief that I come to- oh, there's more than two, but like, the two easiest are snow blocks with enchanted shovels, or you can do TNT spleef, which is you make the entire floor TNT, and you have a bunch of uh, pressure plates on top of them, so they fall when you step on them. 
But uh, sounds expensive. Yeah, that's expensive as shit. So <laughs> <laughs> the snow blocks you can just replace. Yeah. Don't know how many I'm gonna need, but since winter just ended, I feel like I'm not gonna have an opportunity to collect these for a bit. Yeah. And I am almost certain I don't have any stored away. Because <laughs> why would you be collecting snow? Yeah, I'm not planning on making snowmen, so. <laughs> Imagine, like, a new golem-type mod, but it's the snow angel. Oh, I s there was a straw golem mod that I really wanted, but it wasn't updated to 1.21. Damn. Or 1.20.1. What does a straw golem do? Uh, Golem, it's a Golem. little farm helter. Helter? Or, uh, farm helper. No, it's a farm helter. <laughs> it would, like, walk around your farm and harvest your crops for you, but they only have, like, a limited lifespan. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. If they harvest wheat, do they continue growing in their lifespan because they rebuild themselves? Uh, no, but I think you can feed them wheat. But it's a really cute mod. Unfortunately, it was not updated to the version everything else was. Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, and you know... Oh, wait. I was just not willing to sacrifice for it. Okay. <clears throat> you know what uh, show I just realized apparently like just came out that I'm kind of like morbidly interested in? What? The Penguin Show. As in the penguin from the Batman movie with Robert Pattinson got a show on HBO Max. And it's that oh. version of the penguin. And I'm like, I love that movie. So I'm kind of kind of curious about what's going on in that universe. I just I think found it's something like... really weird in the nether, Atcher. Oh, what is it? It's like this giant flat circle. I'm building over to it right now. Hmm. Giant flat circle. Mm-hmm. There's a chance I've run into it, but I can't immediately, like, think about what it is. This giant flat square. That I could answer. <laughs> it looks like it might be hollow inside. Hmm. Um... It's hard to tell. I'm decent, I'm decently far away from it, so I'm like one block building towards it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm curious as to what's going on with that show. Yeah, because we should I watch it together. I think it's like it's also doing like a weekly release thing. I don't have HBO Max. Oh, anymore, I love though. when shows do that. But, uh... So many shows don't do that anymore. It's like, no, give me my weekly releases. Fuck you. No, give, give me. People just like binging. But show, it's better for I shows know. if you do the weekly release because it keeps the conversation going and stuff like that. So yeah. for, like, their big shows, they do weekly releases. What um, the fuck is this? I don't know. I'm not there. Is that class? Maybe. Did you find a reactor? Maybe. Is it a big nuclear reactor? What the fuck? I ran into one of those last stream on my way home, but didn't have the inventory space to take much from it, so I just stole a radiation shield and called it a day. I feel like potions are a thing in I Minecraft didn't that I <gasps> rarely <gasps> do anything with. Oh. Did you fall? It's got like this... No, it's like... There's this donut of glass. Stained glass. I think you're in a reactor. Is there a bunch of lava at the bottom of it? With like some Yeah, chests? yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not in it, but... Oh. But there's a donut but I'm heading towards of it. glass in it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a reactor then. Where there's like... A bunch of funky radiation stuff in there, like radiation shielding uh, armor, and I got a radiation shield that releases radiation while blocking an attack. Ooh. Well, I'm heading. Though I will say my the main weapon now. is a two-handed weapon. Ooh, nether cactus. So, uh... Ooh. 
My main weapon being a two-handed weapon severely limits my shielding capabilities. <laughs> well, I got some quartz. That's what I'm actually here for. Oh my god, it's the thing I came here for. <laughs> oh my god! When do I ever run into that? That's crazy. Ah, uh, pickaxe with fortune, my beloved. Fortune. Quartz is unironically one of the best ways to farm XP. Oh, absolutely. The only thing that's annoying about it is obviously it doesn't come back, so you have to keep moving further and further away to get more of it. Yeah. Have any torches? I do. Wonderful. I feel like one uh, unfortunate thing about Minecraft, at least in my <laughs> mind, is it's it it comes in waves. It's not really a yeah. Like eventually, my brain thinks like, ah, oh, that's enough uh, Minecraft for a bit until like yeah. more time passes, and I'm like, man, you know what would go real hard right now? Minecraft. 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 And I feel like that has been. A sentiment that we've noticed on the server is when it started, everyone was in that phase of like, you know what sounds good? Minecraft, but it fades. I wonder if it's because it takes so long for updates, but at the same time, we're doing modded, so we wouldn't really be able to do anything about that. Mm -hmm. How do I get in the reactor? There's an entrance at the bottom, I think. Uh... With a bunch of science being like reactor overload. Mm. Well, I'm not seeing that, so I think I'm gonna go have to go around the periphery or the perimeter to find it. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> I saw like a kind of like a tube sticking out. I was like, oh, that's probably the entrance. It's not. It's just full of lava. That's probably the exhaust or something. Yeah. You know, one of my really sort of weird hyper fixations. Okay. What? The Chernobyl reactor disaster. Oh, uh, where like everything that could have gone wrong did. Yeah. And it's just like the lid to that thing fucking flew off like a bottle cap, man. That's well. fucking cool. Yeah. I mean, terrifying, but like. I mean, the Americans you know. did that too, though, with like a nuclear bomb they just used underneath, the, like underground, and it blew a manhole cover into space. <laughs> it pro math says it probably vaporized before it entered space, but it's been commonly called the first man-made object in space. That's terrifying. Damn, that creeper was, like, actually camouflaged. I was, like, looking around for it, and then it was just suddenly in front of me. To be <laughs> fair, I'm out in the middle of an open field with a lot of tall grass at night, but still. Phantom. Phantom in nether? Yeah. I think there's like a it's oh, probably like there's a better another mod. Right there. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and it just started coming at me, freaked me out. It said wanna be friends and you said get away and kicked it. Scream. And then it was sad. <gasps> oh my god. I think all the stuff is terrifying. on. When's the last time Demon was on? I know they've been doing a lot of work on that house up there. I don't really know. Not another creeper! Son of a bitch. It's also very possible that people have been on and we just don't know. That's true. Though I don't think many people come on without streaming it. I don't really... At least I know I don't. I only come on if someone I'm with is streaming it, or I'm streaming it myself. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, radioactive. <laughs> Enter the nuclear wastelands of the toxic heap. Oh, yippee! You did it! There's particle effects here. Nice. Don't you feel special? A little bit. A little bit. Thank you, Kata. I'm just imagining you going, now that you mention it, flip there. Well, I found something. I don't know if this is the entrance, but... But it's something. Hmm? What'd you find? Striders! Oh. Those little guys. I love striders. Why? They're cute! What do you mean, why? Just... But why, though? <laughs> Have you seen them? Uh-huh. They're adorable! Maybe you say so. Um... Aurora's so weird, guys. Gosh. Gosh. I wonder if that way to craft snow, I doubt it. But, uh... Uh, if you have ball, like snowballs. Well, that's yeah, that's it. I was wondering if there's a different way. Yeah. What are you? Toxic slime? What do you mean toxic slime? Toxic slime. Yes, back off. Oh, oh that's not very nice. I killed its loot. <laughs> oh, I killed it. <laughs> Think about all you could have done with a presumably toxic slime ball. I think it was just magma slime. Oh. This use of terracotta. Whoever made this mod, fuck mod, fucking kudos. The uh, the toxic look, like the isn't it a bunch of yellow and green terracotta? Yeah. Also, hi demon. Hi demon. Oh, can't leave. Don't have enough points. Oh no. Hold on. No. I can leave for you. Leave. Wait, wait. Don't they still leave? Leave. Leave. I don't know that it makes a sound. Always hard to tell. It's a very quiet sound, is the thing. Yeah. <coughs> I figured. I figured if I made it a loud sound, it would be incredibly Deafening. overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Leaf crunch is always meant to be a subtle sound. Yeah. As God intended. I sure did intend it. why I specified. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, one else? thing I will say I hate about the, the mod... The slime also drops uh, slime balls. Oh, neat. But something I will say I hate about the <laughs> mods is how many fucking different types of seeds there are. It fills up your There's, inventory so quickly. There are so too quickly. many. I don't need seeds for every type of flower. And I'm like, I guess it's neat because you can consistently regrow it, but I'm like... I don't think you need that many flowers, ever. It's kinda crazy. Yeah, no, that's- it's definitely too much. Uh, what else is 
else to talk? What else to discuss? So, uh... I wonder if there's a way to get into that couple of things. Yeah, building and everything. Oh my gosh. This... So, Aurora, <laughs> did you hear that football season started? Oh my gosh! Give me your in-depth analysis on week three, as we're, uh... The first game of week three has happened. What were your thoughts? Go. Did anyone get a concussion yet? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful analysis. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like one of the craziest things about the friends I have is I feel like I'm the jock and I feel like that's wrong. Does that make sense? You, because you are the jock. But that's wrong and no connotation should i be seen as the jock in quotes that's if that's the case something is like very wrong and i'll just say that oh my gosh a hazmat helmet protects the wearer from poison isn't it leather though if I remember correctly. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave that there because it seems useless. So you've probably already been here, huh? It could be a different one. It could be. Um, there should be a control room with a, a sign on a piece of glass that says "Do not break," and I broke it. So if that's there, um, it is the one I went to. <laughs> if you can find. I'm like that. looking for the control room. I also was just swimming around in the lava because I had a fire resistance potion. Hmm. And it was just the easiest way to move about. Mm-hmm. Totally not bragging or anything. Totally not. Totally. Totally not. What do you take me for? Some kind of bragger? Yes. Well, damn. <laughs> Am I a braggart to you? Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, yes. But actually, <laughs> well, yes. You see, the funny thing, yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, bit. but actually, yes. <laughs> um... There's a bunch uh, of chests, like, floating about. Yeah. I didn't even attempt those, because I was like, that's a pain. But, um... And yeah, no, I definitely... I guess major VTuber world news is didn't Amelia retire? Oh, or yeah! Or, or is planning on it? I know, uh... She Cassie announced her retirement. And was emotionally, physically devastated. Yeah. You know, I don't... Okay, I've broken into the control room. Okay, what's it like in there? Uh, I'm looking... Yeah, this is the one you found. Okay. Is it broken? Danger, do not enter, no loot. <laughs> Just broken glass? Yeah. I had to, That felt like there was, though, right? Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I didn't look super in-depth, so I maybe was... there is in there. Wither Rose! I have a Wither Rose farm. Never mind. <laughs> I had an extra farm plot and no crop to put there yet, so I was just like, ah, oh, roses. Of the Wither <laughs> variety. I love Wither Roses. Don't they hurt you? Uh huh. Okay. Continue. I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. I'm about to break this mithril shovel digging up all this dirt. I didn't think that that was going to be a concern. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Hmm. 
So what did you find in here? Uh, I think I just took the radiation shield and left. <laughs> and, yeah, if you're talking about the specifically behind the broken glass, nothing. But I also didn't look very hard. I just kind of looked in, right clicked the lava, and was like, well. Anyways, so there could be something in there. I just didn't look hard enough. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about all these like floating barrels, but those are gonna be hard as hell to get to. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I noticed it near the end of stream, so I was also just kind of mentally in like a rush to get home. Yeah. I was like, not worth. But hey, might as well look around, I guess. But hey. That's what are just you a theory. Do? Uh, style theory. Why style? This is the most random one. Uh, finish up the two stone pickaxe. Okay. Efficient dose. Obsidian, more green stained glass, more lava buckets. Larva. Larva. A larva bucket? Think about all the oh bugs. My God. Think about all the bugs. Yeah, you might be able to find Silky from Teen Titans. Over there. Let's see. See, what I I'm like, really uh... curious about is if there's anything in that, like, circular donut. Probably. I'd say almost certainly. Time to go back up to where I first saw it and try and get into that. Well, best of luck to you. <clears throat> Thank you. What if I said, I hope you don't get it? I hope you fail. I hope you fail in your endeavors, and also it spits on your grave. I hope you fail in your endeavors, and cry. Oh hey, Pigman. But only because you, you scraped your knee when you tripped. <laughs> Where should I put all this dirt? Dirt. Mm, dirt. Hmm, dirt. Hmm, dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Dead now. Dead. Died. 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 died, 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 died. I'm gonna sleep now that it's nighttime. Midas gold ore. Oh yeah, that does something fancy. I can't remember which. I think it means like if you kill stuff with it, they drop gold or something. But I can't hmm. fully remember. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, can be folded into smithing table using Midas gold blocks. Midas, oh, if you get the Royal Midas Gold Sword, um, you get Midas Touch. Which, uh, mm. I don't know what that does. On oh, the Midas Gold Helmet, looks like a crown. Yeah, it's a crown. Mm. <clears throat> the Royal Midas Gold Sword could be neat. I don't know what Midas Touch does. And I don't know what it means to fold it in a smithing table, but shrug. No, apparently that's another thing you can do. There's a lot you can do. Nah, that's it. That's all you can do. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. That's all you can do just in general. <laughs> just in gen. So, uh, Arcane coming out in a few months. Arcane. Is it November? So after yes. Halloween. Yeah, I got to wait till after Halloween. That's crazy. Sobbing. So excited. So you think they're gonna try and wrap things up and make it like modern day canon with season two, or do you think they're gonna plan for a season three? Hmm. That's tough. I feel like I'd be surprised if they didn't try and use this season to set up a like spin-off show. Set in a different region. In this chest that is very hard to get to, there's just a gentle stained glass. Nice. Why? Worth all that effort, I bet. <laughs> I mean, think about how hard it is to get glass. Oh yeah, totally, totally. I mean, you um, say you say that like I'm joking, but it it took no, a while. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. Uh, let's see. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. For you scream for ice cream? Ow. Doesn't look like there's anything in the donut itself. Just... It's a donut filled with lies. Actually, I guess donuts typically don't have anything inside them, so fair. <laughs> Just a lot of glass and lava. I wonder Weird. how many places do you think actually like I got my brain went on such a tangent, this is gonna sound wild, but you know how like donut holes are called donut holes because they're meant to be like the donut that was taken from the middle of the donut, where the hole yeah. is. How many places do you think that's actually the case versus they just get the dough and they make it into a ring? Like, there's... Is it snowing in the spring? Neat. But, like, you know how um, you can, like, cookie cutter a dough and it'll look like a donut, or you can just grab it and just pull it apart in the middle and swing it around your finger to make that, like, donut shape? wonder how many of yeah. them is actually the center or how many of them just kind of pull it apart and do the circle thing so there never really was dough that left the center if that makes sense and they just kind of yeah. make them from scratch also because i feel like most of the time like... donut holes are made in a donut hole batch completely divorced from the donut batch yeah i feel like more often than it's comfortable they're just made in a donut hole batch yeah you got really yeah, I don't really know what to do with it. I don't think they're that useful. Yeah. It's a shame, they're pretty. You could stick it on a wall. I don't think. Yeah, but then what's the point? It's pretty. <laughs> I want pretty useful things, actually. Well, tough titties. Tough Titmouse. Oh, did you say Titmouse? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a saying. Is it? <laughs> yes. How did that become a saying? I don't fucking know. Do I look like the sayings master to you? You are God, are you not? I don't keep track of everything. Well, why not? This is boring. <laughs> Existence is just boring. Oh, you fell. <laughs> I That's noticed. That's for not taking track of everything. Keeping track. <laughs> Luckily, we have the tombstone mod. I love the tombstone mod. But also, <laughs> my levels. Don't worry, you'll be mining quartz. True.
Oh my gosh. The after I modded my shaders, I can now see the rain like dripping onto the grass. Oh, that's cool. It's and onto here. like the water. Is it raining where you are? Everything is shiny. But is it raining for you? Because it's snowing here. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if that's oh, now it's snow. Are, you, are we right on the, like, the border between a rain and a snow zone or something? I guess. Huh. Which is weird because normally this biome I don't think is very snow like. Hey, hey, Atcher. Uh huh. Can I get you to get my stuff for me? Uh, I want to finish leveling this out. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna have the inventory space for all your stuff, so you'll have to come with me and collect it. Okay, I just don't know how to get back where I was. Did, doesn't he give you the coordinates from when you died? Yeah, but nether. That direction, you'll get there eventually. Lava. <laughs> I'll be there in a second. Yippee. So we got a Keurig from uh, the thrift store. And uh, it wasn't working initially, so I called tech support and they made me like make an account in order to receive tech support. Damn, I thought you'd find your curate from the super store. <laughs> we should make Keurig soups. Keurig soup? Little Keurig Because all the Keurig does is like eat up water and spout it through a coffee thing. Mm -hmm. So, someone should do that, but soup. But soup, you say. But soup, exactly. Fascinating. Tell me more of this soup coffee. Not coffee soup! Yes, soup coffee. No. Tell me no. more. It's not like that. Of this fascinating combination. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's just it's just soup. Coffee soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like the dude from that one meme of like mm, cadaver skeleton. What's this? Cranium mm. skull. Mm. What about this? Arachnid spider. Mm. What about this? Manor haunted house. Mm. Mm. What about this? Cemetery graveyard. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just, how did you do? Happy soup. We call it coop. What's wrong? You barely touched your coop! Your coffee soup. Your coop! Also pronounced coo. <laughs> Spelled like soup. <laughs> you honey, you barely touched your coo. <laughs> you my coo! What's wrong? You fairly catched your coop. <clears throat> you know what I would probably excel at, but refuse to make? What? I feel like I would make really good, like, trad wife content. Uh-huh. like... I make my own bread and all that kind of stuff. 
but like philosophically, I don't want to make. But trad you would one hundred percent agree with the trad wife lifestyle. No, and no, want no. to bring it upon all women across the country. Oh dear lord. Christ, no. You agree with the trad wife lifestyle in every conceivable way. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my way. Where are you? I'm. God, I have a little so bit much outside the portal. Dirt now. Yeah, dirt. Dirt. We will be using dirt to scale stuff. I felt. Hmm. I feel like dirt is kind of valuable because if you need a lot of it, it's hard to get a lot of it. So I feel like I shouldn't just throw this all away. You know? Yeah. Maybe. Don't throw it away. Other side, look. No, oh, I'm I'm hopping, I'm jumping, I'm waving. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hi. Oh. Where'd you go? Bye. There you are. Where are you? Hi. Look down. You'll be fine. Okay. What was that noise? I killed it. Why are they exploding blue when they die? I don't know. Ow! Oh, okay. it's hitting me. Ow! They What's scream hitting me? when they die. What's They're hitting little me? Little souls. Uh, Atcher! Atcher! Yes. Wither! Wither! Oh, that's not a wither, that's a headless skeleton. Or headless warrior. Even though they have heads, notably. <laughs> I am on 3 HP. Here. <laughs> Thank you. That should help. So where okay. Are we uh, over here, I think? Think. Ooh, parts. There's also just bottles of enchanting in the nether for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. Yep. I don't really know. You want some blocks? Uh, I think I'm okay for now. Okay, because I'm just going to be these throwing guys could get I'm just going to be throwing out pearls places just so you so, okay. Not like making a path for you to follow exactly. So if you need blocks, <laughs> you're gonna want them now. Pretty sure it was over here. Hey, little guy. Uh, now I need blocks. drop things when you open stuff with your block in, with the backpack inventory that's weird oh huh, that is weird goodbye 42 sunflowers oh okay i think it's like around this way what is this structure what structure over there or where That's not a structure. It looked like a giant portal that got destroyed, but it's just natural generation here. Huh. Does that look weird from back there? It does. It does. Is this the way we're supposed to be going? Uh, you see that giant... Yeah, it continues over the... here. Yeah, that's around where we're going. Okay. 
I fell, so my grave is somewhere near the reactor, but not like in the reactor. Shoot. That ender pearl movement confused me. Oh, I found the exhaust pipe for it. I fell. Ooh, glowstone. Again. I'm really good at falling. You want to see? I've noticed. Want to see me do it again? <laughs> see me do it again? Where are you? I'm on the ground over here. Uh, well, that didn't help much. Ow. 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 I might die again. <laughs> you did. Yep. Oh, are you right down here? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Do you keep forgetting to shift? No. But how do you fall? I had to... I had to fall down because I had no way to, like, break the blocks that were preventing me from... Can you build Getting... up, up and over? I gave you like two stacks. I didn't think there was any up. I think I would. I thought I was just gonna build up and <laughs> up and up and up. <laughs> what do you. I, you could see the top of that thing, unless you were in a different spot than with it. Uh, the dirt path did. I didn't see the top, gonna be real with you. Near your portal exit. At least I think that's your portal. What the fuck is that thing? Um, I have no idea what you're referring to, so. Why do I know what they're affecting? What are you? Oh, is it Naga? It's a baby? Get, get! Is it a snake skeleton person? Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Yeah, they like spawning there. Fucking ow. The nether has not been very kind to you today. This it is, is why I suggest armor generally. <laughs> I, I know. know you're not the type to wear it, but I would suggest... I would consider su suggesting uh, wearing it. <laughs> I have armor, it's just mostly broken, and I don't want to make new one. You have a mending enchant villager. I know, but it takes time to get all those fucking... What's it called? Emeralds? Emeralds. It's incredibly cheap. Yeah. It's a single digit number, isn't it? Uh, sometimes? Sometimes? <laughs> it's it's like the cheapest I've ever seen that enchant for. <laughs> I'm working on making a villager hall. You can still get mending with the villager you I have. I know! I know! It takes like no time at all. Then I have to farm paper. That's it's so easy. Paper. I know, I'm just lazy. <laughs> so, so instead you decided to go to hell. <laughs> Yeah. So is this where you fell? The top is right there. Huh. I didn't look up. <laughs> like, I'm so confused when I saw the path just ended here. Well, now I have another grave Hello? over there, so. Do you want to go get that grave? <laughs> yeah. It's dirt in it. I know. That was three and a half hearts. Okay. What was that noise? Right Did you hear a noise? No. It's this thing. Hell, hellhound. Oh, no. what? Hellhound. 
A hellhound? It's dead now. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I found more Stormix ore, so that's neat. Ooh. I love Stormix. Stormix? Stormix. Where did you go? Uh, uh, I'm going around the reactor to look for my grave. I think it's <laughs> above some. When you said like you needed my help getting this, I thought it was gonna be like up I'm, far I, away away. <laughs> I thought it was far away away. I didn't realize how little I had traversed. The more you know. I'm in the, the middle of the The more reaction. you know. Let's see you. Oh, There's maybe, maybe Sinsite Ore. I, uh, I don't think that's super useful. Mm. Mm. Let's see. I went up here. Up where? I, uh, there's a staircase on the side of the thing. Okay. And I'm blocked up here. Get back over There's here. Tag. When I wound here to make my way back up here, the Nether my sound design is pretty. Fell good. down here. So where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> also, yeah, the another sound design, chef's kiss. For so me. good. <laughs> they basically redid it all a few updates ago, didn't they? When they like mm -hmm. got that new music team in, that is fantastic. Yeah. Ooh, that was a very risky move I did, but it worked. <laughs> so what did you say was in the core chest? The core barrel? It was just some glass. Huh. Maybe that one is where I found the radiation shielding or something? Mm, probably. I have no fucking clue where you are right now, if I'm being honest. I'm on I'm top of the reactor. I'm making my way back down. Making my way back down. Fucking fast. Face is fast and I'm homebound. I thought you said fucking fast real quick for a second. <laughs> fucking fast. Face is fast and I'm homebound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and confused. I need you. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> 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 now I want... I like the little fireflies in the nether. They're so cute. You can kill them for glowstone dust. Ooh. Nice. I learned today. So wait, are you still around the reactor? Mm-hmm. What part of it? I'm over by the entrance, or the core of it. Not the core core, but like the place where people actually go. I'm in the middle. You're in the middle. There you are. Hi. Yeah. Okay, yeah. still don't worry. What the fuck is that thing? Is that that's a phantom on the ground? <laughs> that confused me for a second. <laughs> Threw me for a loop. A loop, you say? Loop, loop, pampo, and your shoes are looking good. <laughs> so how do we get back? Walk. I know. Where are you now? Uh. There you are. I'm gonna let you lead the way. 
Whee, into lava. Oh, yippee! Oh my gosh, you're going fast. Well done. This is average Minecraft speed. I nearly ran into lava. Nice. Up here. How'd you get up there? Ender pearl. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it gave you two stacks of blocks? I was like, I'm not gonna make bridges for you. That's pretty fast what you did. Got a good shovel. Oh my game lag for a second. Woo woo. No, oopsies. Dies. <laughs> Oops! That way. I love how you like turned back to me. <laughs> yeah. Just to make that sure way. you're still there. There's some quartz over here. Yeah, what's with the random bottles of enchanting? Like right here? Oh, hey, my portal. Right here? On, headless warrior. Oh shit, another one. They're dead. Yeah. Wanna go through your portal? Yeah, but hang on, there's some gold over here. Actually, this is Cincinnati. 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 Oh shit, hey, more quartz. Should've just come down my portal the first time. <laughs> It is the safer one. Yeah, I didn't know that at the time. Like, oh, Atcher made like a special portal. He must have like a really good one. No, I built that before I even went into the portal. <laughs> the sun is a deadly laser ass portal. The sun is a deadly laser. <laughs> it does have something magenta in there. So where'd you go? Oh, I'm heading to my portal right now. Okay, there you are. Hi! These vines caught on fire. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's caught on fire drastically. <laughs> as soon as I turn away. Oh, this isn't your portal. Oh, this was your portal, and then it was repurposed to this portal, I think. Oh. That sounds right. Did you ever have a portal, actually? I think I did? Yes, I did. Well, we can't exit through this one. Yeah, but there's a way home from here. Well, I'm already gone. Is it faster See, than going to the other portal? Uh, probably not. Recently, I have been like entranced by a uh... by the sun being a deadly laser. <laughs> that, but also, you know those like Reddit story with like Minecraft parkour in the background. Yeah. There's this one channel that does those, but specifically, they have like all of like the updates and a bunch of comments in the video itself. And some of these videos end up being like 40 some minutes long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I am like entranced, I'm like an iPad kid about them. It's like, oh my gosh, the long, the long Reddit videos, look. I don't know why I'm like 
I'm not allowed to secretly yawn anymore now that I have a model. It just like eyes closed, <laughs> big mouth, head lean back, and I'm like, ah, damn. Even though I did a quiet yawn, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They see. Chat they sees see, all. They, they see. They know. Why is my see, model they like know. leaning back so much? Because it's head proportion. Like it tracks your head specifically, not the rest of your body. That is true. So if. Like, you lean your head back, the entire model's like, oh, time to go back. That's fair. Follow me. Nope. I'm not following you. I was gonna show you a thing. Oh, okay. I'm following, I'm following. How dare this ghost slow me. Anyways. This way. This way, this way, this way, this way. Ah, yeah, creeper on the left there. This poor beach has been massacred. I'll fix it one day. We're gonna get all that sand. I'll find a way to get sand. Oh my gosh, this mule scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Reaper. Suddenly back in the mines. Not only as we hear them, side to side, side to side. To side. This task got going one, hope to find some diamonds too. Oh, I'm waiting for school. The worst part about trying to harvest snow is it's actually like quiet. Oh wait, the okay. zombie is destroying my armor. Or no, the zombie is destroying hmm. Whatever that effect was, it showed armor disintegrating, and I was like, I don't like huh. that. Got so many. Oh. Bad fellas here. So, where are we going? Um, I got distracted by snow. Um... Fly. You made a mistake. You can just fly. It's no space fly. Oh. Yes. Let's see if we can hit you now. Yes. I have to go. Uh, infinitely far up, not very far wide. Yeah. I figured really it would cool. be helpful with your building stuff. Yeah. Then I can just place it and go up. Go up. No more scaffolding needs. Damn, no more scaffolding! <laughs> That's actually insane. Uh, and it seems like even a wooden pickaxe can break it, so... <laughs> and these mobs are really enjoying spawning in. Yeah, I need to light this place up, like, badly. <laughs> Since this is all like flat ground, it's like mob heaven. Oh, big time. Oh! oh! He, st he walked in front of me out of nowhere! <laughs> How low are you? <laughs> Not very! <laughs> this is a, uh, I'd argue, more reason for wearing armor. <laughs> that was a way. 
Kids at home no, wonder just... why armor? This why armor. <laughs> why armor? This why armor. This armor why. this. This why. You did pick up that table, by the way, though, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think you need my help getting to this tombstone, so I'm just gonna leave it there. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Gets lost. I know, oh. Asher, I'm lost. Help! Uh, anyway. Diamonds tonight. This task I really want. Diamonds tonight. Buttons up. Turn around. Total shock fills your body. Oh, it's you again. I can never forget those eyes. Those eyes, 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 eyes. Cause baby, tonight, the creepers try to steal all our stuff again. Yeah, because of that song. At first, I thought creepers like stole your stuff, but they just kill you, and you don't get your stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would actually like actively steal your stuff. That's. I can see how Baby Atcher would think that. He said they're gonna steal all my stuff again. How could they not? You have such cool stuff. Such cool stuff. I do like how lively the mods make the world feel. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I was just like, I want a dead Minecraft world. <laughs> I want a dead Minecraft world and also fuck you. And also, fuck up. <laughs> could make ruby shoes. Oh my god, you could be Dorothy. Dorothy Gale. matters is that you like the strange curvature you're doing. Well, not when the stairs refuse to cooperate. <laughs>
What is that tune from? Is it Jared from Fairies? No. Is it just... Good question. Dragon Fairies is... That's Marsha. Is it Paul Marsha the Sugar Plum Fairy or just the Sugar Plum Fairy? Or am I thinking of something entirely different? I think that was the Sugar Plum Fairy. Um. Oh no, Sugar Plum Fairy is. Uh. Oh fuck! How to start? I'm gonna look it up. Tchaikovsky's name's a, name looks like a um key smash. Tchaikovsky. He did the uh the canon song, right? Yeah. Wasn't it to say like how bad music was that this would be popular and then it was and he was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Tchaikovsky was kind of a bastard. Honestly, if I remember correctly, he might literally have been a bastard. Oh, yeah, this is called Tchaikovsky. No. <laughs> ProZD did it. Makes sense. It's <laughs> just... Tchaikovsky, cannons are not instruments. Yes, they are, and I'm going to use 21 of them. Tchaikovsky, no. Tchaikovsky, yes! dun da 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 Tchaikovsky always, yes! <laughs> It's pretty good. I feel like Tchaikovsky, if he lived in this day and age, would either hate or love a lot of things. That's fair. Okay, back to Minecraft. After <laughs> doing Buff. some music Tchaikovsky searching. Tchaikovsky research. Tchaikovsky. Always, yes. <laughs> so, after all that, I forgot what tune we were initially humming. Uh... That one. That's a Christmas song. Carol of the Merry, Bells, Merry, is that Merry, it? Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Bum, ba, da, dum. That's yeah, right. I think it's Carol of the Bells. It's another one of those songs that is like... <laughs> that doesn't in... feel like a Christmas song if you take away the lyrics. No. It's the most epic Christmas song, though. Like, it's by far. It's a very like, intense Christmas song. <laughs> I've seen one that is like epic Christmas music playlist compilation and it was just a picture of like santa sitting on a throne and it was that one but like rock and it was dun, 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 dun. Oh, no it was, it was uh, that but an orchestra except like orchestra music that i can't recreate with my mouth mm -hmm. oh gee you can't recreate orchestra with your mouth how dare you not yet <laughs> not yet what are your what are you planning? That's for me to know, you to find out. That's so scary. <laughs> merry, 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 merry Christmas. I'm also now listening to a song called uh Brittle Bones Nikki that I haven't listened to in a long time. And I was like, oh yeah. Oh, I wish I love that song. song. It's pretty good. Very good, very good. Ten out of ten. It's very sad though. Oh, it's very sad. But, like, in a cool way. Apparently they made a part three, like, five hours ago, so I'm like, I should listen to part one, and I didn't know there was a part two, so... Let's see what those we are like. We should listen... 
should listen to them again sometime. I am back in the nether looking for quartz. <laughs> I feel like the Headless Warriors are probably supposed to have a different model. It feels like they should, doesn't it? Yeah. It feels like they probably are supposed to and just don't for some reason. For some reason? Just no. <laughs> just nah. But they're fucking everywhere around here. Christ. Oh, yeah. They, if, I they're... feel like I can see them being wither skeletons, just headless ones, but they're not that. Which, like, they should be. So I'm like, ah, yes, the headless warriors with the head. You know. <laughs> so no head? So no head. Another classic, very good meme. Mm hmm One of these days, and I feel like not too long after right now, our memes are going to seem old. Oh, yeah. I mean, my favorite memes already are old. You're old. No. <laughs> What's your favorite no. meme? It's hard to come up with uh, that just like right from the, off the top, though, you know. It's hard to say. <laughs> so, well, give me, so many good give memes. Give me a couple. Give me a couple uh, of your favorite memes. If only I could. Come on. Don't be a coward. I honestly can't think of any right now. <laughs> Most of them are vines, though. Which I think falls into the category of a meme. It does. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. That's a good one, too. Or even, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hand. I almost dropped my croissant is also a good one. I could have dropped my croissant. My croissant. I could have dropped my croissant. You did a Stormix. Did it. We, uh... Oh, eight pieces. Cool. Uh... Oh. Is that weed? I'm calling the police! <laughs> calling the police. Or is that a police? I'm calling the weed! Oh, oh Tony, no. what you smoking? Tony, what you smoking? <laughs> I feel like if given the opportunity, I would be able to do a very good kind of like customer service voice. I'm just imagining, like, if there was a weed hotline that was just the phone number you called when you're high as shit, if you wanted to talk to somebody. <laughs> all of the representatives are also always, like, 24-7 No, they're, act they're perfectly sober, but they're specially trained in talking to people who are high. Specially trained? How do you specially train someone to talk to high people? I don't know, people? I'm not one of them. Like I am. <laughs> Many times, I'm like, I feel like my friends are high, but like I can't just ask them, "Are you high?" I'll give you my answer. I'm not. Well, I know you're not. <laughs> oh, you mean I wasn't one of the friends you were referring to? Yeah, absolutely not. You're straight as a rod. Well, that being straight and high are not mutually exclusive. Do you mean sober? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're straight in the way that I don't think you'd touch any illicit. Ah, uh, narrow. Straight and narrow. Yeah. As opposed to just straight. <laughs> yeah. Petition to make straight and narrow the new slang for twink but straight. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's straight and narrow. Wait, <laughs> what would be the bear equivalent to that? Stone cold. 
But, uh, I guess part of being a uh, bear is you are not cold, but oh well. Ow. Not cold. You're warm and thick. That doesn't feel right. Warm to say. and thick with three C's. <laughs> Is it just? You thick? know, John wait, wait, over wait, wait. there. He's warm and thick. Is thick just fair but straight? Thick I has a lot more like. Boy. I feel like thick has <laughs> more boy. feminine connotations, where bear is a lot more masculine, though. Yeah. But still. Jesus, take the wheel. Are they going to say Jesus, take, take the weed? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> take the better. weed. Take it from my hand. Do I have any bow bow logs? Oh, oh, so many. Bow, bow, wood. You know, one aspect of different cultures that drives me absolutely insane that, like, you never think about until you have to think about, and you're like, God damn, why is this one thing that, like, nobody can agree on? What? Naming conventions. Oh, How, like... like in Spanish, the OA thing for her masculine feminine names, or? That, but also, um, like, first name, last name, middle name. Oh, Japan. It's, it's not, it's not consistent anywhere. It's not consistent anywhere. Yeah, but the one in Japan throws me off the most. But also, like, in Iceland, uh, last names aren't really a thing that exists. It's just yeah. your last name is your father's name, then daughter or son, like, son and that's what it used to be across a lot of europe i think that's why like jackson is the last name and johnson is the last name son of john yeah but uh it just swapped over to just take the man's last name and that's why all of it is son and never daughter but then in like iceland yeah. you can have you can be like jack daughter is your last name <laughs> and the word for daughter in icelandic is similar enough that it is just daughter I remember I was trying to like, I was like making a character who was from India. I was like, oh, I should probably check like, you know, how their how names first, work, like how the names work over there. And I can't, I don't even remember, man, because it was weirdly complicated. And then there's like the double last name thing in a lot of Spanish speaking countries, especially like Mexico. Yeah. And it's just, nobody can agree on it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody agreed. No one agrees how names work. <laughs> what the fuck is hitting me? A uh, ghost. Oh, you withered away. Oh. Could have been a naga. Fucking... Uh, Naga spit wither affected you. Motherfuckers. I'm just realizing like how dark this must look on Twitch because <laughs> it's night and everything here is like black stone and I'm like damn sorry chat <laughs> this is a uh, must be like watching just dark pixels move around a little bit. Do you want me to give you my shader settings? No. <laughs> It's too uh, bright like and the... cheery. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't like my bright fuck you uh, world? No, no, not as much as you like it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a ton of slabs to make sure that I have enough for this. I'd tell you how to set it up, but I honestly just got a... Like, you can save your settings and send them up to other people, so... I just looked up a video from that. Hello! I'm gonna 
we'll be right back. Okay. And then they were gone forever, never to return. Oh, wait, I did this higher than I should. No, I didn't. I was right. By your side, can I stand here? Yeah, when I don't have anything to say, I just start singing songs that are in my head or that I'm listening to. Even if they're not in my vocal register, and I should not sing them because I can't sing them well. So, apologies for that one. Almost there. What is up here? This song is specifically from like it's a specific remix of a song for an animation called Green World that is very good, if you ask me that animation. made a uh, snack. Oh. Got some leftover fried chicken and a big potato. Jim Kim. Mm -hmm. I have the song from Green World stuck in my head again, and that's because I am actively listening to it, but still. <laughs> it's there. I've definitely ranted about that song to you several times in the animation. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. You should rant to chat about it. I did for a little bit, but I feel like it would be wildly off topic rambling without having the visuals and I'm not about to put the visuals up because even though it's just like a YouTuber I'm still just like, eh, go watch it there, not here go watch it, it's good it's good it's good um, Skyway S-K-Y-E-W-E-I they have a few animations, I don't know if they have anything recently they put, they put a mm -hmm. lot of time into their stuff they have that one about the artist like Trying to figure out the most perfect symmetrical way to make a flower and how it took all the fun out of art. And they have a breakdown out of about that. Mm-hmm. I think you felt that one a lot. Yeah. I'm not thinking about being a creative man. I'm not art brained, so I was just watching it like But man, the symmetric one was so good. <laughs> and I was like that's not the message. <laughs> Just a real moment of, you did not understand that message. But hey, man, it's okay. It'll never be okay again. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot of fucking snow for this arena. What a mood. Mm. I love fried chicken. Fried chicken. Especially, like, homemade. That's fair. I mean, that'd be neat if I made this entire floor hoppers that auto-collected all the snowballs, but I'm like, that's so much iron for this floor. Simple, uh, make iron farm? 
That is still so much iron. Like, mm, hot, true. But it's art. I think it would be in thousands of blocks for this floor. Yeah. And each hopper is like seven, so it's in maybe the tens of thousands of iron. Mm -hmm. I'm like, haha, no. <laughs> no. No heart. No heart. God, I didn't think I would need to get more deep slate. I think I will need to get more deep slate. Cobbled deep slate. Damn. I really thought I'd have enough to finish this off. But alas. Is it ever enough? Clearly not. <laughs> One good thing about just being a guest on your stream right now, I can just eat. I don't have to worry about moving. Nom nom nom. Just staring at your stream going, <laughs> I'm the watcher now. I am just the viewer now. Are there any, there are new types of ladders. Neat. I think so. A willow ladder, a wart ladder. I don't think there is a dragon's blood ladder. That one looks pretty red. I can get Willow. I don't know that I can get Wart. No. Hmm. That's not a shovel. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite pickaxe shaped shovel. Yeah, the reason I decided to make this into a sleep arena was because, uh,. You, even with um, a sleep arena, you could still do combat stuff in there, but if I were to make it like a combat arena, it would only ever be that. And I think mm -hmm. that's... I don't think there's a lot of combat heavy people on this server. No. Not really, no. Part of game, so... I said party games, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, Aurora Starshine joined. Everybody hide. A second to remember. Oh yeah, I died. I need to go get my stuff. Oh, that's right. Bold move to leave uh, right after death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't die far away from the portal though, so. Simply perishes. Well, I'm out of cobbled deep slate. That's crazy. How'd you do that? Well, I ran out. Oh. I need to <laughs> put all of this dirt somewhere. Placing a dirt chest. Dirt chest, chest with the dirt. Here. Fuck. 
What did I just kill? Steve. Restless nature. It's the, it's in their nature. No, it's the item is called a restless nature. Huh. That's almost a double chest full of dirt. Well, not quite. There's <laughs> still like two rows with nothing in them, but I'm gonna get more. Chest. Oh. I'm going to need another shovel though. A butterfly in the nether. Bubberfly. Bubberfly. Bubberflubber. Bubberflubber. <clears throat> Another famous YouTuber quit recently. Graduated, I should say. I'll be honest, I don't know too many corporate VTubers. Yeah, neither do I. I say I said that like it was a know them personally. I just don't know them at all. <laughs> I just don't follow corporates very much. There's some Hollow Live English, and that's kind of it. I and like Algura. Then, even Hollow Live English, I haven't like followed by any means recently. Yeah. I know a lot of VTubers start VTubing I because see. of corporate VTubers, and I started VTubing because oh, my friend is doing it. Mm -hmm. It just seemed fun. Um. I just wanted an excuse to hang out with her. <laughs> I like Calliope seemed neat, but I haven't, like, watched Calliope in, or even seems... listened to their songs in years. Seem currently. How about that? Yeah. Got I some found wild. a wild onion. <laughs> nice. I guess the onion themselves is the seed. I'll put an onion farm in place of the wither rose if I haven't replaced that yet. <laughs> No, there were the roses. <laughs> Seed infused by spirits with a final wish to regrow the lost nature of the nether. Oh. I thought it was spring now, so I don't know why it's still snowing, but I will take it. It can snow in spring. But I would, th I think of spring as being more of a rain situation than snow. Yeah. I guess it's still early spring, but still. Especially in, like, video game context of, like, seasons dynamic, snow is, like, the winter-only kind of thing. Yeah. Strip mine in the nether for uh quartz. I mean you can. I just don't think you'll find much. Yeah, it just doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I like just being able to walk around and find stuff. I, don't, I find uh strip mining to be very tedious. I'm just not that great at exploring and not torches. also falling into lava. Fair enough. Also, I'm terrible at dealing with ghasts. <laughs> Another recommended trick of just like, oh, just shoot the fireballs back at them. I've never done that successfully. You can also just shoot them, if that helps. I don't typically uh, keep bows on me very often. Oh, that's fucking wild. <laughs> I know. They're very useful. I know. Yeah, most weapons don't let you hit things that are like over there. Bows do. Crossbows do too. Do you carry a crossbow? 
You're not gonna like this answer, Chief. Oh no. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the bow is superior to the crossbow. Except for in one scenario, which is you can preload a the crossbow so you can do a real quick draw with it. Mm -hmm. But then you have to reload it every other time. Yeah. So like you do the quick draw and then kind of swap to the bow just because I like the bow timing better. I'm just used to yeah. it. Yeah. These blooming vines are really pretty. Fucking, I hate the Nagas. Yeah, they are really piece of shit, aren't they? They are. I feel like gaming is in a weird place where a lot of games get like really popular but only stay popular for an extremely short amount of time. Like Helldivers and Power World? Yeah. Hello! That's kind of everything right now though. Generally lower attention spans, quicker, shorter fads. Which is why I feel like it's also harder to define decades as strictly as you used to in the past, like the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. Yeah. They're less clearly, like, defined culturally, because they were- those cultural fads weren't around for as long. Yeah. They have no staying power. I blame the internet. As most people do. I mean, it just makes spreading things so Ow. much quicker and easier, so fads catch on quicker and therefore become old quicker. Yeah. Fucking hate gas! I'm just trying to mine quartz in peace. I ain't hurt nobody. Uh, more snow. snow. Found more snow. <clears throat> uh, let's see what other game went, like came and went really quickly in terms of popularity. Those are the two standouts there. Baldur's Gate, World I feel like, moons. had some staying power to it, but that's just because it, it was such a long-ass game. That it kind of had to have some staying power. Like, if you were actually playing If you were playing, playing it, 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 like, one playthrough, which you can see on my VODs channel, over 100 <laughs> hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> crazy long. There are some devastating moments in that playthrough. Oh, I yeah. I don't remember exactly, like, what... Oh, no, the biggest one was, uh... In Act 2, when that fight kept resetting because it kept crashing, so I had to do that same massive fight three times until eventually I was like, Fuck oh. it! I'm just gonna cheese the shit out of this and get the good ending, because it keeps breaking. I was like willing to accept getting the bad ending like twice, and then it just kept crashing. I was like, clearly this is a sign. Uh, this is a sign from the Baldur's Gate gods. Things are meant to go well here. I also did the classic me thing of doing the hardest difficulty I could start with. It's a bad idea. It's fine. Because <laughs> Baldur's Gate doesn't really hold back when it comes to its hard mode. No, it does not. But then there's like the hardcore it mode, or what is it called? Not legendary? I forget what it is, but it's their... Um, Basically, hardcore mode in Minecraft one life. where... Yeah, one life. 
I don't know if you could still revive. I'm sure you could probably revive party members, but I think if you get a TPK, it's done kind of situation. Mm hmm. Which. Like. To my understanding, the hardest part of it is the beginning. Mm hmm. Why is that, do you think? Because, um. Your party isn't strong enough yet. And then once you mm. unlock a lot of capabilities, even though enemies get harder, you have a lot more options, so you, it's easier to work around things. Yeah. I haven't done much research into it, but I want to try it at some point. Probably not on stream, because that would be. Because, <laughs> oh my god. But I'll try it. At that some would be point. brutal. Oh, absolutely. I wonder what that mode is like on a um, multiplayer mode. I don't know. If you can even play that one on multiplayer mode. I don't know if you can. Imagine if it was like a, well, your character died, go make a new one. That would be way more generous. I was going to say it, I thought you were going to say it, then it kicks you. That would also be. That's what I was wow. expecting. You you leave the table. <laughs> I haven't played much D and D, but the Didn't parties I've been with, I've really liked. That's good. I haven't really had a bad D and D experience like a lot of people have. That's good. Well, because I, I feel like the thing about a bad D and D experience is it's very hard to work around because it's such a big time commitment that everyone's there like wants to be there. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to navigate, especially because a lot of the people who are there are like friends with the other people there, and that's why they're in there, they're there in the first place. Hi, Kitsu Kimura, how's it going? Hi, Kitsu Kimura. Um, but yeah, most... Some... See, there's a... There's a D&D slash, like, general card and tabletop shop near my house. And I've been tempted to, like, go there, try and make friends, but, like... Also, Man. I am a... One, I am a girl. Two, I am very short. And woman. And <laughs> Goodbye, I have... me. Goodbye, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, you. Goodbye, um, you. Um, I have had some nasty experiences with like gamer guys. Pro so it's like, gamers. am I willing? <laughs> like one time, I brought my a, a little bit of backstory. Uh, I found this like really cute satchel type diva bag at um I think it was oh god where was it I think it was fucking a game store GameStop that's what it was I found this cute little diva bag and I was like oh I like purses I'm gonna use this I still have it uh so I took that to school and then this motherfucker who uh, he okay. never talked to me before this not once not a single conversation before this opening line went, D did your boyfriend get that for you? And I said, no. What an, what an opening line. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> did you just get it because it was cute? And I was like, no, I, I, I got it because Diva's my main on Overwatch. He was like, oh, you play? Like, you know, disbelieving, you play? And I was like, yeah, I have like 200 hours on D.Va. Yes, okay. And I want you to imagine, Dude. because this was like early in the morning, I just looked at him with the deadest fucking face like, yeah, I play D.Va. <laughs> 200 hours. And he just went, oh. And then he stopped talking to me. Oh. We didn't say a word to each other the rest of the year. Nice. <laughs> 10 out of 10 experience, it sounds like. Would do again. <laughs> Would have again. One fun fact about me is I feel like okay, in general around stop. strangers, at least in person, I'm very like kind of dead toned. I don't really talk much. I know the streamer doesn't talk much. Ha! <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Liar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining that uh, that one Bo Burnham song where he's just like getting berated by everyone and the one bully dude is Going like, oh, you saying that just because uh, you people see you telling jokes and having fun on stage uh, doesn't mean that we should talk to you in person? Because in real life, you're actually a very shy, introverted person, uh, and you don't know how to handle yourself well in front of uh, strangers because of that. <laughs> yeah, sounds like bullshit, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 
basically. <laughs> As you see Bo just like awkwardly just standing there like, yeah, no, that's it. Oh, swing and a miss, bud. <laughs> swing and a miss. But yeah, I never talked to that guy beforehand. I didn't even know. I don't know his name. I just then you knew he was in my like chemistry class. <laughs> And then, he, fucking, what an opening line to someone you've never spoken to before. Can we mention that? It's a bold move. Certainly a bold move. <laughs> fucking, did your boyfriend get that for you? What do you mean? Why is that his first assumption? I'm <laughs> just, okay. Okay? Okay? So yeah, that's why I don't... I haven't gone into my local game store, even though, like, it's a really nice place in there. I've gotten a couple, like, sets of dice from them. In fact, I'm planning to go again sometime soon to like, sell a few Pokemon cards. Nice. Because, like, I don't really need to talk to people all that much to ask, hey, what's this worth? Don't need to talk that much. Right, right. Right? <laughs> oh, hey, I have 30 levels now. I have 22. Wow. Getting that quartz. Yeah. Quartz gains. Quartz gains. Quartz gains. I wish I could explain to you guys accurately how girly I am without, like, describing my features. Girly. <laughs> I am... I'm not a girl, but I'm very femme. You is very femme. Not girl. Not girl. Not girl, only femme. Confused? <laughs> Thumbs up. I think the easiest way to describe it would be I am 5'1. I have very long, like, my hair goes down to my ass. I have mm -hmm. long, long hair. If that doesn't give you all the info you need to know, I don't know what will. Fair enough. Um. Fem. Fem. Not Fatal, only Fem. <laughs> no femme fatale here. <laughs> no fatale, only femme. Only femme. Have you seen those Ada microwave edits? Nope. I think you'd like them. I don't even know what a microwave edit is. It's like the character, you know, in the Resident Evil games where you can uh, see the models and you like turn them around. Uh huh. It's like people dressed in Ada cosplays doing that kind of like slow turn. Just standing on a giant lazy Susan. Pretty much. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> I wonder what was the first game to let you see models like that. It had to be a Probably 3D a model game. game. I mean. Resident Evil 4 had the bottle caps thing where you kind of do that, but they were stuck to bottle caps. Mm hmm That was 2005. I know Arkham Asylum was the first game that I saw it in, but that's like 2010 or something. When did Arkham Asylum come out? I don't know. 2009. And oh. but for RE4 bottle cap stuff was 2005. So... If that counts, mm -hmm. then that's the earliest I am aware of. If that doesn't count, then... I don't know that RE5 had anything like that. I don't know anything about RE5. 
I'm f I want to say it didn't, but I don't know. But I will say I'm sure that's very useful for cosplayers and people uh, who just want to make oh, yeah. models and stuff like that. God, there's so many games on my list that I need to play, and I feel like I don't have as much time for streaming as I used to, so I'm going through them very slowly. Like, right now, I think mm -hmm. I'm entering, like, a phase of streaming where I'm pretty much streaming one game at a time. And right now, that's yeah. Black Myth Wukong with Minecraft is a thing, too. And then, of course, there's going to be, like, one-off stuff. But, like, the mm -hmm. main game right now is Black Myth Wukong. Yeah. Like, I might toss in the, the occasional one-off indie horror night, because I know that's something you Indie horror enjoy. night! I love indie horror night. But I still need to find a game for that. Oh, yes. Yeah, is it your turn next week? Are, are we doing it next week? Ah. Uh, let me double check. It might be the week after. <laughs> I need heads up on these things. Uh... It's the week after. Okay. Wait, no, I was looking out of Cobert. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. It is next week. <laughs> okay. I'll need to find something. Because I don't like... I can do the one where I swap between games, but I kind of prefer sticking to one game for the whole thing and finding like a four-hour mm -hmm. game. But if it's during a weekday, that's not going to be an option. Yeah. This will be enough deep slate. It never is. If it's not, I can come back. <laughs> so what are you up to now that you have 30 levels? Figuring out what I want to enchant. <laughs> you know, the norm. You could just get putting mending on stuff. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of mending books now. I also have some uh, Stormix to smelt. Fair. But I was talking about my massive list of games. Two at the top of it are probably Elden Ring and uh, the Cyberpunk game. Because apparently it has gotten very good after they've released a lot of patches to fix a lot of the initial bugs on release. Mm -hmm. So those are probably two of the games I'm going to look into next. After Black Myth Wukong. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, but then once we start getting to like Game of the Year stuff, I kind of want to play some games that are up for Game of the Year if possible. To make yeah. another one of those I don't videos. know what's going to be up for game of the year. I've been wanting this question a lot, and I do not know. But I also am not fully aware of what games came out this year. Cause yeah. This has been a lot of uh, me catching up on games, I feel like. And Baldur's Gate 3. 
But um, I'm also like, I want to make that video again. And then I'm like, damn, I have barely found time to edit. Like, let just edit a video that we filmed like a week or two ago that the whole point of it was very minimal editing necessary. And it's literally just trimming stuff. And I just haven't found the time to do that or the motivation to yeah. do that. So I'm like, damn, scripting a whole video. It's a lot more investment in Sounds that. Sounds rough. What the fuck was that throw? I wish I had the money to hire an editor right now. Mood. If I could do that, absolutely. Like, I can edit my own stuff, but I don't have the motivation to do that regularly. I've learned. Because mm -hmm. I have a lot of things that I want to do creatively. One of which, which is kind of the, th the big thing in my mind right now. Uh, like, probably, I think about a year ago, the big thing in my mind was the main channel. But now the big thing in my mind is a thing that is not even related to Natcher. So, <laughs> I will not speak of it. <laughs> <laughs> Want to keep those Spooky. as separate as possible. being smelted just like mmm. Mmm, could it go? I'm thinking once I finish this uh, arena, I will probably be calling it for the stream. Longest movie out there. I feel like I've wondered this question before and Googled it, but I forget the answer. <laughs> I think it's like 12 hours, though. Hmm. List of longest films on Wikipedia. Uh, Rasan The Journey from 1987, director Peter Watkins, 14 and a half hours. Fourteen and a half hours? What the fuck is it about? It's Swedish for the Journey is a documentary film made between the years of 1983 and 1985 on several continents and structured around the theme of nuclear weapons, military spending, and poverty. Ordinary people are asked about their awareness of these issues. With a running time of 14 hours and 33 minutes, it's the longest non-experimental film ever made. It was screened in the, at the 1987 Festival of Festivals as well as the International Forum for New Cinema of the Berlin Film Festival in 1987, but has rarely been seen since. In February 2007, it was screened at the Mexico City International Festival of Contemporary Cinema as part of a retrospective on Peter Watkins between April 25th and May 1st of 2007. All 19 parts of the film were screened at the Austrian Film Museum in Vienna, Austria, as part of a retrospective on Peter Watkins. So it sounds like it's very hard to find, and it's kind of only been filmed at a few, like... Or not filmed, screened at a few uh, film festivals about the director, af oh. like after the initial <clears throat> screenings of the film. That's kind of yeah. It. And I would kind of be interested in seeing it, but at the same time, 
that's a whole day fucking hours that's uh dedicating a whole day to it and i'm like well am i that interested probably not <laughs> no but i do think it would be very interesting to see like how in depth in a topic could you get into if you dedicate a 14 hour film to it like probably a lot yeah especially a topic like that that's a very good topic i gotta say yeah I feel like you could just do a lot with the concept of making a long film like that. Yeah. What would you do if you had all that time? And, and like, I, and imagine you have film. all the... Like, imagine you have, like, f as long as you want to make a movie, as many resources. What story would you tell? I feel like for something that long, the only way you'd get anyone to see it is if it's a documentary. Yeah. And I feel like it would be interesting if you had that much time to do an entire... It, it would honestly, the way you would market it would be a series of documentaries on various topics. But mm -hmm. it's like the history of the united states and it starts with like the uh like christopher columbus discovering the new world and you can honestly mm -hmm. i'd say you could even go further back i feel like you start with like the you go all the way back to starting with like the land bridge from alaska and you discuss mm -hmm. the histories of the native people in what is the now like United States of America um, territories? Probably not like the Aztecs and the Incas, because that's South America and Mexico and Central America, but like mm -hmm. the tribes of North America, which mm -hmm. I don't know that we have that much history on, but I'm sure that you could do a whole documentary on like pre-colonial North America. Then yeah. the next part is you go into. Um, Christopher Columbus discovering America and all of the big rush there. Then you do like the pilgrims with the Salem witch trials in the colonial era, revolutionary war, post-revolutionary war, like the 1800s. And like, you just go through each era and each era is a different documentary. And there's also a version of it where it's all connected all together. And that is um, like, you have some added content to bridge the different times better. Yeah. But not too much added content to do that. You wouldn't need too much, I don't think. Yeah. Just enough. Enough. And I think that could be neat. Definitely. But uh, the reason I say America's history as opposed to anything else is because it's, I think, wild like, and interesting, but also not Britain or France, who has been around for way <laughs> long. And I know that, like, going all the way back to the land bridge is like way further back but we just don't have as much concrete history between then and columbus we probably have more than i i think we do but I, i'm pretty sure we just don't have that much because yeah. i don't think the written word was a big thing for the tribes and the nations of like pre-colonial america yeah i don't i honestly don't know as much as i feel like i should about all that <clears throat> as opposed to like the Aztecs, the Incas, and the Mayans, which are the three that I think we have probably the most history on. And that's not to say we have a lot. We no. just have the most. Yeah, they just... Those are... Think about it this way. Those are just, like, the civilizations that existed at the time of the colonial, like, con crusade... Not crusaders. Conquistadors coming over. Mm -hmm. That's like if Europe was discovered while like Rome and the uh, barbarians were there and that was it so we were just like well the oldest civilizations there are um, clearly Rome and that's it that's the only civilization they've ever had in their history of Europe it's like well mm -hmm. what about like the ancient Greeks and the Trojans and the uh what are, what are like the um the, the steps 
archers and stuff like that. Like, there was a lot of other groups of people there. It's just they weren't there when we got there first, so yeah, we don't know anything about them. There could have been several massive civilizations in the Americas before that time, and they just collapsed just for whatever reason, and they didn't have a written history. Because I don't think the written language... Again, I'm speaking about a lot of things I don't know. But I don't think that yeah. there was a written language, or at least if there was, it wasn't as well, like, preserved. spread and preserved. Not preserved, but, like, it wasn't as widely known to the pop public as writing is in, the, in Europe at the time. It's probably more yeah. similar to, like... Rome or ancient Egypt or ancient Greece where the only people who knew how to read and write were the people who needed to. Yeah. Kind of thing. <clears throat> so, yeah. we just don't have histories on these things. Or maybe there wasn't civilizations before those three. Like, that were We don't that know! Big. That's we... the frustrating part. I'm sure somebody out there knows. Like I said again, like, this is like, I don't know that much about this topic for how much I am speaking with authority here. I have no authority over this topic. <laughs> so... Everything I say could be completely wrong, but this is just my understanding. I need to preface that. Yeah. <clears throat> but then I think if you, you could do a series on that about like a bunch of different countries, and if, God, Egypt would be crazy. Oh, Egypt would go hard. Egypt would go hard. Middle East would go hard and <laughs> controversial. Oh, yeah. Which, I say Middle East instead of any specific country there, just because the Ottoman Empire basically had all of the Middle East, if I remember correctly, and the Persians. So, to get that history, I think it's just easiest to, like, talk about all of it. Yeah. Kind of milking pot style. I mean, and a lot of the borders that exist are borders that shouldn't exist on our borders that are incorrect, so it's probably best to just talk about the region as a whole as opposed to the countries that exist because England decided to break out the ruler. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. They're like, man, look at all these different types of like cultural identities and people that exist here. We're going to draw lines here and here, and there you go. <laughs> Those we are your territories. Just, we have some uh, very well-defined cultures. We have a ruler. I, I knew to know that. I do know that a lot of historians are of the opinion that a lot of the turmoil in the Middle East can directly be traced back to how the British divided the territory there. That does make sense. It's like if, it's like if, um, instead of making like. If we were to look at Europe, for instance, the borders in Europe are not straight at all, right? Imagine if yeah. you, like, divided the, uh, like, Spain and Portugal into three different countries, but all of them had bits of Spain and Portugal in them, and one of them was, like, Spain mixed with France, and there was, instead of countries of France, it was, like, you mixed territories of Italy with France and Switzerland with Germany and France, and, like... It just mixed it's all of that to get together. Literally everyone mad. Yeah. <laughs> Switzerland's a bad example because in Switzerland there are a lot of French speakers, but there's also a lot of German and Italian speakers. <laughs> Switzerland is mm -hmm. weird. That's also why I didn't bring up Belgium. Belgium is also weird in that sense. But yeah. Mm hmm A lot of places are really weird. And the reason that um in the United States that's not as much of a problem with all the straight borders and United States is because we didn't care like about the native opinions. Instead, Which we just... is a and also we didn't even consider their opinions. Really, it was just the white settlers that were sent there, and they were just kind of sent there. But if you notice, the older states have the crazier borders, and then as you go west, they're straighter because they were just they made those borders before they were significantly settled. So there wasn't any major demographics that the government cared about um, mm -hmm. that they were worried about splitting up there. Yeah. So, yeah. Really fucking complicated is what it is. History and geography are interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> I wish I knew more than I did. 
about both. Yeah. Unfortunately, classes are cut money. Yeah. And they don't pay money in the end because there's not much money to be made in the history field. Yeah. Unless you want to be a teacher, and I don't think I'd be a good teacher. No, I get too angry too fast. Damn. Call me out. <laughs> Just a little frustrated. Just a little bit. Well. That's what uh, college professors are for. You get paid more, and you're allowed to be upset at people. And your students. <laughs> you're allowed to be pissed. Because they're adults. <laughs> can handle it. <clears throat> okay. Die again? Nope, but there's a creeper near my rail line. Oh, that's not good. I love how you asked that without seeing if a message popped up. Well, I was wondering if it was going to pop up. <laughs> Another thing we do need to do is probably make a mm -hmm. railway from spawn to where we are here in case we invite yeah. any new people. Because I think we did invite somebody new, but they just haven't hopped on yet or something like that. Yeah. Gonna name drop them or anything, but yeah. I will bleep. <gasps> we <laughs> bleep. bleep. That's right. The president of these United bleep States, Larkin, Joseph then. Biden. <laughs> Can you imagine? S son Hunter Biden. <laughs> I would absolutely, without a doubt, play Minecraft with the United States president. Who wouldn't? A lot of people. <laughs> I feel like it would be such an experience. Imagine getting to teach the United States president how to play Minecraft. Because you know that's what it would mostly be. <laughs> yeah. Could be really funny though. Oh, absolutely. I need to watch those. Um, this is, I will say, preface this with I think one of the very few good uses of AI. Those AI mm -hmm. voice videos with like the presidents all playing games together. I need to watch those <laughs> again. I haven't watched those in a long time. <laughs> those are pretty fun. Because, like, they're not stealing jobs from anybody. No. I guess maybe impressionists, but I feel like. They, this video wouldn't exist without them, so it's not like this is job impression. It would have gotten, these videos just wouldn't have existed. Yeah. If impressionists wanted to do this, they would have done this. They would have done this by now. I 
really know many impressionists. Me either. <laughs> I think a lot of Robin Williams jokes were based on impressions. Oh, I love Robin Williams. Yeah. That was a good man. I think, didn't he get into some controversy, like, recently? Even though he's been dead for a long time. About how he Did he? steal the jokes of lesser known comedians at like comedy clubs or something like that. I don't know that that's true and I feel like there were a lot of people defending it too, but I remember something like that coming up recently and I was just like, nah, I like Robin Williams. The hey, genie. I definitely I was just wondering if wouldn't... you knew something about that. I have no idea. I've never heard of it before. I have no <laughs> idea if it's true or not. And it, to a certain point, it's one of those things of, like, I, part of me is also just, like, I don't know that I really care, because all this would have clearly happened a long time ago, and, like, it sucks, yeah, sure, but. But, like, he's already dead, man. It's a little late. And also, the thing about comedy is, it's not just the joke, it's also the delivery, and it's not a guarantee that these comedians would have made it if they had just had the opportunity to tell these jokes. Maybe the delivery wouldn't have been as good. Maybe he modified things. I don't know. And then again, maybe I'm thinking of somebody that wasn't Robin Williams, but I think there was... Or maybe I'm mixing multiple stories together in my head. I have no idea. This was just me working off of memory, which is notoriously a bad thing to work off of. Not just, like, me saying I have a bad memory. Just everyone's memory is worse than you think. Just by nature. There's my scythe and my axe. Oh my god. Find it. Found him. Yeah. Oh, we'll talk about it. You should, let's talk about it. <laughs> no. I don't wanna. Here, lay down on this very comfy chair couch <laughs> thing that a therapist has. Let's talk about it. No, I don't wanna. I think we should talk about it. I left them in the chest. Which chest? Near my bed. Uh, the bed chest. Yeah. <laughs> Where you keep your glass of water. Where I keep my special things. Your special things? <laughs> and they only were... I forgot I had them there because they're the only two things in that chest. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe it. Aurora confirms here. Keeps their special things in the chest by their bed. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> like a birth certificate. Oh, I thought you were gonna bring this dirty. <laughs> it's a, that's an optional direction. Eighteen plus stream. As like we play block game. Plus. Uh, block game, the infamous 18 plus stream. Are we currently in a phase where Minecraft is popular with kids or where it's not? Because I feel like it keeps flipping in and out, you know? Yeah. It's, it's consistently like, is it popular? I don't know. I'm very confused right now. I should have had 66 of these, and I only got 64 of them. I feel like I glitched something and lost two, but oh well. Oh, yeah. I made way more than I needed. Forever slabs. Oh well. Oh well.
need to find more levels. I only need like one level, but still. How yeah, much still? That's still. Thank good. Thank goodness it's night. That's a good time to get levels. 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 When did you get into Minecraft? Long time ago. <laughs> Old man. I technically started on Pocket Edition, and it was before crafting existed on Pocket Edition. Oh my gosh, same! And it was before gravity affected blocks, so we built a house out of gravel. And then that updated, and we were like, oh shit! <laughs> was it a big house? No. I say we, it was me and my brother. <laughs> God, I was worried that Chris. water wasn't going to work here very well. Thankfully, it do. I'm surprised you haven't made your uh, chicken machine yet on the server. It doesn't feel like it fits. It's too technological for a Viking village. <laughs> and there's not really a central area like there was on the last server to just put it. Yeah. You know. All oh, behold the glory of chicken torture. <laughs> it's pretty glorious, I think. It's not. I think it's pretty cool. There's not much like it. It is certainly a device which tortures chickens. Cassie's pumpkin farm looks so cute! Oh yeah, it does. Feels like this year has gone by fast. Bar. Which official Minecraft edition feels more like a mod to you? What do you mean? Like, are there any additions to official Minecraft TM that don't feel like they belong in the, like, official version of Minecraft? Frog. I was gonna say frog, too. <laughs> I don't know what it is about those little guys. They just don't look great. I don't know. You know what I mean? It, the way they move. Yeah. I will say, uh... What are they? Camels, too. Oh, yeah. Also, those new, uh, like, trial chamber things. I haven't even looked into those much yet, if I'm being honest. I They I, interest me, though. They're interesting. They just... When I look at them, I go, that's a mod. That's a mod that adds new structures. That's what that is. It is mod. You know what uh, I feel like they do need to uh, update, though? Huh. The structures that already exist in the game. <laughs> They're never gonna do that. <laughs> Perhaps they should. <laughs> they definitely should, I just don't think they're ever going to. Like, when's the last time, like, villages got updated? Village and pillage update? Mm-hmm. How long ago was that? I, I want to say not too long ago, but I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure it's been several years. We still, on this server, haven't found, like, an improved village, have we? What do you mean, an improved village? 
I mean, there are, in this mod pack, there are, like, normal villages, and then there are, like, big villages. Which ah. have, like, like, hand-made, uh, structures in them and such. That's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. Your arena looks so cool. It's almost done. It's almost done! I look back over to your chat. When did Kitsukamira say agree? What was what were we talking about? I don't know. I think that's pretty recent. <laughs> oh shh. I look away from chat to change my music and I just see Kitsukamira. I feel like I look like oh shit. I feel like I looked pretty Is that about recently. frogs? It could be about the frogs. I feel, like it's, I feel like it's about the frogs. I feel like it was pretty recently, because I feel like I checked recently. But then I was like doing intricate stuff with stairs that took a lot of brain power <laughs> focus. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, they, they moved away from the classic line of goodbye. That's like, a ah, shocking. Like, ah, shit, no. It's like, oh my god. Oh my god, there's no other words. It's like, um... It's about to make a, the Adventure Zone reference that you wouldn't get. Make it anyway. Uh, you wouldn't get a Game of Thrones reference either. But it's like Hodor. We've if Hodor were Game to say of Thrones. anything. We need, to, we need to continue that. We were, we were watching it with somebody else, though. That's true. I'd be down to watch it. I feel like I want to rewatch it, but... I need to get a ladder, mm -hmm. and then I'm not obviously not going to have enough snow to finish the snow part. Because... And then I need to make the special shovels for it, but that's easy. But, um... That amount of snow is two stacks of snow, so the snow part's going to take a while. I There should be a way to collect... Like, if you put it... Wait, wait, wait. If you put a cauldron out, does it fill with snow during a snowstorm? I think so. That's pretty slow, but... Oh, but that's powdered snow, which I need solid snow. Yeah. So that's not going to work. Damn. Mm. A lot of stuff. Now. Oh, I've got Max Gunpowder in here. Ooh. 
you. I don't need f 40, uh, rotten flesh. Let's see if this duck egg makes a duck. Nope. Oh. Oh. Did not. Sad. No duck for us. <laughs> Man, the I sneezed little again. rain droplet effects that I have going on with this texture pack are really nice. Nice. Oh, it's snowing again. Snow, glorious snow. Is this a family-friendly stream? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. God, I have almost an exact double chest worth of dirt here. <laughs> dirt. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Nice. Hey, nice. There we go. Um. Yo yit. I could decorate the outside a bit more, but I won't. I could. Won't though. <laughs> could won't. <laughs> nah. I think that's how many I need. Oh, wait, more than I needed. Nah, that's fine. Too many is better than not enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. The arena is as done as it will be today, if you want to see it. Hello, I'm coming! Though it is snowing again, which makes me be like, well, time to go out and collect! <laughs> collect. I need to figure out I'm on my way, my I'm on in. my way! I think you should make a cool looking iron farm. I don't I'm iron farms are annoying to me, just making them, I don't know why. Mm. Cool looking chicken color? I might be able to make it bigger. Not even just bigger, just nice looking. I think it's very nice looking. You can think that. I can know that. Ooh. Well, I need to destroy my uh, Wither Rose farm right now. <laughs> now that I have onion. <laughs> onion. Damn, this thing is big. It's pretty big. I have more wither roses than I think I'll ever need. I'll slowly steal them until you have none. Fair enough. <laughs> no argument, just... Yeah, fair enough. I was expecting this. Okay, I've given my onion farm a bit of a start there. As I don't harvest any of the fully grown crops you. that are here, because I've got plenty. Where? <laughs> Sorry? I'm on your uh, thing. There's a lot of things you could be on. Oh, there you are. Hi. 
Yeah. As you, as you can see, I could probably like try and do some pillar thing around the exterior, add more of these red pillars. But I wanted to decorate the entrance at least, and I feel like that is fine enough. Yeah. I have this little concession stand thing that maybe I should do something with, but it's just there to be there. I love the concession stand. There's nothing in there. It's just there. <laughs> but I love it. Massive stands. Oh, yeah. I like these torches specifically. I need really to, fun. I do need to light the stands up more. I only have the torches here to signify like where the entrance and exit is. But I think I'll yeah. need to put more of those torches around. They're, I think they're the bamboo torches. Palm torches. It's palm, palm. stuff. Who's up here, VIP? Yeah, it's the fancy <gasps> seats. It's oh. like the... Yeah. It's where the royals and shit sit. And as you can <laughs> see, the... Uh, see, yeah, no, it's not the best viewing uh, when you're seated. But you know what? That's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> then, um... You see the, like, snow over there? That's yeah, two that's gonna stacks. cover the whole thing. That's two stacks of snow. <laughs> so that yeah, that's gonna take a while. Um, stacks never go as far as you think they do. They really don't. Then the entrances and exits are right here. You know I can't get over there. Yeah, but you can come back to the main entrance. Hey, Kevin. They're right here. You have to crouch to enter them because I was like, ah, gladiators don't get the best treatment. Crouch. I forgot what my crouch button was for a second. No lights in there either. And then uh, for when you fall, there's going to be a ladder there to get back out. But <laughs> Double ladder. Yeah. So yeah. That's what I got. Oh, I need that torch back, please. I uh, only have so many. Uh, that was more than I had. Do you want them back? No. <laughs> okay. Keep them. Those are for you. Those are my torches now. <laughs> Those are for you. For me. But yeah, I'll need for to you. slowly collect a ton of snow. Or just wait for winter and quickly collect a lot of snow. Um... But yeah, I find and venture off until you find a snowy biome. I'm going to consider this pretty much done. Like, I guess I do need to do more lighting and uh, the snow, but the snow is uh, going to take a bit. But yeah, mm -hmm. with that, I think I it's probably it. uh, time to end off stream. Yeah. Uh, time to go to the just chatting screen. So yeah, when will you next be live? Um, sometime next week. Let me double check. Hmm. Same. I will be next live. Uh, I believe on Monday I'm doing some Power Wash Simulator with a uh, rat. Mm -hmm. I'll have to double check on that. Okay. Yeah. Power wash. I will be live again also next week. I don't know when specifically yet because it depends on availability for collab, like if I'm needed in any collabs or anything like that. And uh, I am. For the next few weeks at least, probably going to be taking the entire weekend off. I'd already have Saturday as like a D&D &D day. And then Sunday mm -hmm. I'll just be taking off because like I am getting pr increasingly more tired. Which you've probably seen as we cancelled the last two Sunday streams, which were Minecraft. Yeah. And uh, I've just drastically, I feel like, been streaming less and shorter. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to give myself a bit of a break without f completely falling out of the habit. Because I do want to play like Black Myth Wukong and I do want to play a lot of games on stream as opposed to off stream on my own so trying to september figure out the perfect balance such, for that september is such a like fuck you time to stream because everyone's busy in september mm -hmm. yeah, and it's like fair. really discouraging yeah so Which um, obviously not viewers fault but like god damn why did they put why is it september they're setting us up Patrick. they're, they're setting, setting us, us up. up for failure but yeah <laughs> they are with that i think it's time to end so, uh, <laughs> see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.